Unit Seven. Your house. A. Is your house big? One. Listen. Then practice with a partner. Is your house big? No, it isn't. It is small. Is it old? Yes, it is. Is there a yard? Yes, there is. Is there a well? No, there isn't. Are there any flowers in your yard? Yes, there are. Are there any trees? No, there aren't. Two, listen and read, then match the questions and answers. Dear Len, thank you for your letter. I'm in the country with my friend Tan. She lives in a beautiful house. There's a flower garden in front of the house. There's a vegetable garden behind the house. To the left of the house, there's a lake. To the right of the house, there are tall trees. Here is a photo. Write soon. Love, Nye. Questions. A. Is there a flower garden in front of the house? B. Is the house beautiful? C. Is there a flower garden behind the house? D. Is the lake to the right of the house? E. Is Nya in the city? Five. Listen to this description. Which house is it? There are some mountains behind the house. There is a tree to the right. There is a lake in front of the house. Six. Play with words. We have a house and a yard. There are trees and flowers in our yard. We spend hours among the trees and the flowers in our beautiful yard. B. Town or country. One. Listen and read, then choose the correct answer. My name's Ba. I live in an apartment in town. Near the apartment, there is a supermarket, a post office, a bank, a clinic, a market, and a zoo. It's very noisy here. My name's Chi. I live in a house in the country. There aren't any stores here. There are trees and flowers, a river, a lake, and a paddy field. It is very quiet. Here is a picture. Questions. A. Does Ba live in town? B. Does he live in a house? C. Is it noisy? D. Does Chi live in town? E. Are there any stores? F. Is it quiet? Two. Read about Ba. Then write sentences about Chi's house. Ba lives in an apartment in town. Near his apartment, there is a market. It is very noisy. Three, listen and check. Complete this table in your exercise book. A. Min lives in an apartment in the city. B. Tuan lives in a house in a town. C. 
Nya lives in a house in the city. C. On the move. 1. Listen. How do you go to school? I go to school by bike. I go to school by motorbike. I go to school by bus. I go to school by car. I walk to school. Now ask and answer questions about these people. Example. How does Lian go to school? She goes by bike. 2. Listen. How does Mr. Hai travel to work? He travels by train. How does Mrs. Lan travel to Hanoi? She travels by plane. Practice with a partner. Example. How does Mr. Ba travel to work? He travels by motorbike. How does Miss Hoa travel to work? She walks to school. How does Mr. Kim travel to work? He travels to work by train. How does Mrs. Jung travel to work? She travels to work by car. Three. Listen and write short answers in your exercise book. Example. How do they travel? By bus. A. Ba goes to work by motorbike. B. Lan often travels to Hanoi by plane. C. Nam sometimes goes downtown by bus. D. Nya goes to school by bike. E. Tuan always goes to school by bus. F. Mrs. Hung goes everywhere by car. G. Mr. Ha goes to central Vietnam by train. H. Miss Chi is a teacher. She usually walks to her school. 4. Listen and read. Then, ask and answer the questions. Hi, my name is Hoang. I'm a student. I get up at half past five. I take a shower and get dressed. I have breakfast, then I leave the house at half past six. The school is near my house, so I walk. Classes start at seven and end at half past eleven. I walk home and have lunch at twelve o'clock. Questions A. What time does Huang get up? B. What time does he go to school? C. Does he go to school by car? D. Does he walk to school? E. What time do classes start? F. What time do they end? 5. Play with words. What time do you get up? I get up at 5 o'clock. What time do you get up? What time do you go to school? I go to school at half past 6. What time do you go to school?